All righty, week eight. God, can you believe it? One more week and we're halfway through the semester. So now that we have officially finished our two week venture. Now, when I say that, it's really my two weeks. Yours will be whenever you've done your code review. And the more I reflect upon this process, the more I believe in it. Um, but I also recognize that it's not easy um, to do. It's really hard to have someone question you like that, depending on right where you were in the process. So I try to deliver feedback as gently as I can, but also as clearly as I can. So I appreciated really, as I was reading the week seven um, uh, learn together uh, replies um, about that is that each of you had your own unique experience, but I understand that for some it was not easy. For others, it, and here's what I, you know, again, you're going to hear me say this, right? The sooner you work on code and you get in before the due date, the more likely you're going to do well on the code review because then you can kind of see maybe what you missed in your code, right? Where I can help you with describing your code. And, and it's not that I need you to use the words exactly as they're as should be described by JavaScript, as long as you have the concept down is really what I'm trying to assess. So just FYI. So here we are, we're moving into week eight and um, we're doing some more, I would consider really fun stuff. So I looked at my week eight learn together from last year. And I remember, cause I read last year's students responses and they really liked it because in this case we're gonna for this week i don't know about week nine i'll think about that next week but we're gonna walk away from the idea of the stimulus for a week just to kind of give that a rest but also to kind of give you the idea of like seeing something figuring out to recreate this and add some functionality of your own and this process is so important is being able to come up with ways that you can add, enhance, extend functionality of something. Uh, it's really just kind of a little mini thing of what you're doing with the dev projects, which for us, and I talk about this in week eight, because I'll just let you know now, week eight uh, video is actually from last semester. It's the first video, except for week one, I use some reuse, some video there that I've reused the video for this class, honestly, because it just worked well and I, I want to do that. So the thing you could tell me this week is like, you want to go, do you want me to change the topic of the Learn Together? Shall we, you know, kind of brainstorm some ideas? I'd love to hear that as well. So, but the main thing I want to say to you this week, and I, and Andrew handles it a little bit later, he talks on it a little bit in the section that you're doing for uh, the code alongs this week, but it's the importance of validating user input. And because we're now at the place where I, before this, we were simulating, right? We were providing the, uh, you, what we thought would be the user input right in JavaScript. So now we're stepping closer to actually getting that user input well, we are getting it. Now, how do we make sure we get the right kind of input or at least some input? So next week's Learn Together, I do a very simple thing uh, for doing this. I'll just show you what I mean though. Here's my week eight. And if I hit submit, it will not allow it to be submitted because it's saying filled needs to be filled out. And that's just some very basic, uh, I would say at minimal, uh, validation and it's just putting the required field um, in number. Now also the in order to do this you have to use the form element as well. But here's what I want you to really and really I'm going to cut this short because I really want you to watch a video from Web Dev Simplified about JavaScript form validation because I think he in six minutes will give you at least one way to think about and approach validation. But here's what I want you to know. Two things. 
One is from here on out, you got to make sure whenever you're asking for user input, you have to validate that, that you got what you expected, okay? You almost have to, at this point, assume the users are not going to give you what you want, and you have to tell them that, okay? That's the thing I want you to start implementing. Again, it's a little not covered yet or quite as clearly, um, but I want you to know that I want to see this and all the work going forward. The other thing I want you to make sure is, and you're, you're going to start seeing this, I've kind of been talking about this, but if you are uh, not able to do the learn together without looking at other folks as examples, you got to say that because if you don't say anything, I'm going to assume you did, but you didn't say it. So don't, don't put yourself in that situation. And, and it's okay to look at, I mean, obviously, totally okay to look at Andrew's examples, okay? My point more is just trying to get you to really in that thinking process of, you know, how well are you integrating that? And the reason I'm doing that is to help you as we move to Dev 1, which is now five weeks away. Okay, so the this video, I want you to watch. I'm going to add this uh, underneath the video that I have because I think it's one of the best, a uh, very short, concise way to talk about data validation. I want you to understand from here on out, anytime you do inputs, which you will for the rest of the semester, you have to do some level of data validation. And you can either start with the minimum of what I did, which is just adding the required and the input HTML using a forum implementation to get that done or look at what he did here because if i see a form set up without any validation i definitely mark off for that and know that i want to make sure in your writing on the replies that you talk about if if you were if you needed to look at somebody else's code uh, or mine uh, to get this done. But I this week, I don't actually give you an example because I'm saying here, recreate my functionality and then add some things to it. And also some style. That's the other thing is that it's hope that students have had some uh, HTML and CSS styling before they got here. And if not, it's pretty easy to get some. If you want some resources, I will help you with that as well. Okay. All right. Have a great week. Talk to you later.